You're not finished, are you? Okay. We started? I thought you were going to finish your starburst. Because you're going to smack on it. Clear the through <laughs> That's why. I'm not for That's all I'm going to do. Hey, hey y'all. <laughs> we're back with our second pillow talk and we're coming to discuss It's Not You, It's Men, mm -hmm. episode two. And I guess what we want to first talk about is the three topics. Yeah. The three main things we pulled from it. So, right. um, what do you think the first one was? Um, it was that marriage is more than a wedding. Yes. That one. Um, the sex challenge. Yeah, the sex challenge. <laughs> that was a good one. And, and um, the arguing and forgiving yes. concept of it all. So, yeah. Yeah. so first, let's get the segment I didn't like too much, but <laughs> <laughs> the topic I, was interesting. I liked it. You're talking about the sex, the sex challenge. Yes, I'm saying the the the, the young lady that hosted it wasn't that. Oh, I yeah yeah. 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 I know you like sex. Yeah, so we ain't worried about it. that's not the sex challenge is not a problem. I mean, I think we should all challenge ourselves. But <laughs> yeah, but I I thought it was interesting because so the challenge was um, there was a study or no no there was a couple that challenged themselves to have sex every day for a year and they said it improved their intimacy level. Mm -hmm. So in the show, it's not you, it's men. They had three couples do a challenge of um, two, having... Two couples. No, it was three, right? Two. Oh, it was two. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, have sex for 30 days. Yes. 30 days every day. Yep, and they come on the show and talk about it. And come on the show and talk yeah. about it. And I thought it was I thought it was good. I mean... I thought it was good for the simple fact of you get in the, you know, the routine of life. And we've been talking about our routine and right. what we do. And we have two kids. We both have demanding jobs um, in corporate. And sometimes sex for me can fall way at the bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> That's the problem. Mm. That's the problem. But, you know, I feel like. It's Why is the problem, though? I mean, I mean, because of my needs and my wants, okay. but, you know, but I think it's always a compromise to everything. So it's like, what makes you tired? You know, mm -hmm. I think we had that discussion before. It's like, okay, what makes you tired? So then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I have to cook. I need to clean. So that's what I did. I learned how to cook <laughs> and clean the way you like to be clean. Yeah, so, so I didn't have any excuses. Right. So it's like... <laughs> girl <laughs> right what's next now what's next so bring that ass here girl right um so i right. I, I get it no seriously i get that i thought the challenge was good because they said it raised their intimacy level too right you know what i mean and it and it kind of it makes you be creative if you have to do something every day right for 30 days like who wants to just do missionary oh. or just y'all still like that just doing missionary y'all <laughs> Do a doggy style. Right, or right, right. Whatever. Like you, you have to be creative. Like, do it on the floor, in the closet, in the bathroom. Right. Role under play. the bed, role play. <laughs> talk nasty. Right. But you know, the one thing it, the one part I didn't like about it as much as I do like sex is it's for thirty days seem like a job. Like oh, yeah. you never want it to seem like a job. But that's why I I commend people that like try to have babies and it's like they on a schedule and they have to do it so much. It's like I don't think it's enjoyable. I don't. Yeah. I, I never asked anyone that ever done that yeah. or anything, but it's like it has to seem like a job at some point. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But and well, you, then that's why too you have to keep the romance there. Exactly. Or know your love language and everything. Um, I think I think you know my love language pretty well, and I'm still kind of learning yours. I just know. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But don't worry, no Kanye here. But <laughs> yeah, no, no Kanye, no fingers in the booty or nothing. But yeah, I'm not gonna say it. But um, right. 
Yeah, so Keep anyway. It as clean as possible. Yeah, but keep, anyway. Yeah, moving on. Topic number two. Um, <laughs> marriage is more than the wedding. Yes. And I think the, uh, it was a great analogy that Tyrese or um, Rev Run used was with the Super Bowl. And it's like, it's not that once you win, like once you get married, you got the trophy, you got the ring, it's over. Right. Like for marriage, it just starts. Yeah. You know, it just, it just begins. Yeah. And every wedding that we've been to, we always tell people, we'll wait till you're settled to come visit. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, we know each other. Yeah, we've we been good. dating. <laughs> We're good. And Ricardo and I both know that first year, first maybe two years. Baby, it's a I learning. Mean, it's a learning. It's experience. a learning curve, right? Yeah, it's a learning curve. And not, and then, not only that, we did ours a little differently too. Um, we had our wedding. We had this big wedding at five years, so we didn't go into um, getting married with that whole pomp and circumstance that exactly. Tyrese was talking mm -hmm. about, yep. which. You know, that worked for us because we had other responsibilities. But I think because we got into it and we were married, like we went to, we were doing stuff like 40 year olds were doing. Like right, right. Bought a, we bought a home. We had two kids. We were like in these, it was just, it's what we chose. Right. But um, I think sometimes, you know, I could, I could speak for myself and maybe some other women it's very romantic. It's beautiful. You want to be a bride and, you know, have the venue and cake and see your family and friends out there watching you um, walk down the aisle in a beautiful dress. Um, but it comes with a price tag, right? It, no, it does. It does. And it's not just a financial price tag. Yeah. You know, and I think people get stuck into that fairy tale and then once all the lights and the glamour is gone and, and your glam squash y'all women like to use yeah it's gone and you realize you wake up and it's just y'all yeah it's no one there validating no your one. marriage um it's no one taking pictures saying how beautiful you are mm -hmm. you're there with your husband or your wife and you're like damn that's who I'm supposed to be with forever. Mm -hmm. And you really have to figure out how to be married and what it looks like for you two. And I think, like they're saying in the show, that's the biggest part of it. It's not just the ring. It's not just the wedding. Right. The marriage itself. Um, it, it's, it's a process. And I don't like to say work because work for me is synonymous with <laughs> ugly stuff. Okay. <laughs> And right. being married to this man here, I absolutely love it. Matter of fact, before we started recording, I was damn near in tears because I don't want to go to work in the morning because I hate being away from him. And as corny and cheesy as that sounds, I love him so much. <laughs> I love him. And when you love someone so much and they're your friend and, and everything, you just you hate to be away from them. And I, I hate to be away from him. So, um, the wedding for us coming five year, five years into our marriage was the icing on the cake. Um, exactly. We already had, you know, our finances are, well, we have some of our finances together and we have separate accounts and so we have to, you know, joined accounts, mm -hmm. but we understood that the wedding thing was something we took on and we spent a lot of money, but we didn't ask our parents for not a red cent. And we, That's honey, no, okay. And that thing was nice though. It was. Y'all see our video? Don't hashtag, do that. hashtag four five. Excuse her, y'all. She ain't Ooh. always modest. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> it we, was nice. And we paid money, but that's what we paid for, you know. And I think that was the biggest thing going into that. And we're gonna get off our wedding, but it was oh, a yes, celebration. Sir. Yeah. And that's what we wanted. We wanted to celebrate us, and that's why the most important things was food, liquor, music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So the third thing was, in which I think we should have a separate video on. Also, just okay. the intro is um, the arguing and making up. Oh yeah, make up to break up. Oh no, no, we ain't breaking <laughs> no, up. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we the... we beef a little. That's what we call it, beef, and it don't be real beef, but right. you know. Yeah, th let's make that another video. Yeah, we're going to have it because she, she likes to beef, y'all. And I, let me tell y'all, and I got a sister that vouched for that. <laughs> hey, Jay. <laughs> so, um, we'll definitely talk about that in another video. Yeah. But 
I also think just as a quick thing is if you love someone, arguing is going to be part of it because yeah. you both both of you guys are passionate about it. But you just kiss, make up, and move on and let this argue about the next thing, you know? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, stay fortified yes. either way. You know what I'm saying? And keep loving each other. Please do. Um, when the show comes on on Saturday, um, j talk with us on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.